In question 20, we are told that we have an object with positive charge placed at P and a similar object with a negative charge placed at Q. The diagram shows the number of solid lines which the potential has a constant value. So the question then asks which graph shows the variation with distance x along the line PQ of the electric field E. So we must understand that the E field at all times must always point from positive to negative. And, treat, and treating rightwards as positive, this means that the graph is entirely in the positive region. However, we can see that the equipotential lines that have been drawn for us all have a potential difference of 100 volts. When we are close to P, the equipotential lines are close. This means that the potential gradient or in other words, the E field strength has a big magnitude. Towards the center, we can see that the equipotential lines are far and therefore the potential gradient and hence the E field strength is going to be low. However, when we reach the other charge, we once again see that the lines or the equipotential lines are close. So once again, the potential gradient and therefore our E field strength is going to be high. And so this means that our E field strength will decrease in magnitude and after that increase in magnitude once again. And therefore our answer is A.